It's time to add lightning into my voxel engine. I want my Minecraft clone to feature colored lightning and sunlight. Voxel lightning is essential to gameplay shining life into the world. I want my Minecraft clone to propagate lightning fast without delay. Another great example that I mentioned before is Vintage Story, where colored lights fit the scenery adding ambience to the world. Now, in order for us to calculate voxel lighting, we need to understand light values. Minecraft stores light values from 0 to 15 for each transparent voxel in the game. This gives us some space to work with with placing voxels in the area. As you can see, torchlight is propagated in a small diamond pattern voxel in Minecraft. We want to make this same in our Minecraft clone. Voxel lights are smoothed out the further the wave they get from the light source. The lighting algorithm works like this. First, we start off with a grid of zero light level voxels. We decide to place a light source on the grid where we check the neighbor voxels that are not opaque. If the neighbor voxel is less than two values than the current voxel, we add it to the queue for propagation. Each voxel that is added to the queue is subtracted one value to fade the light away from the source. As you can see, the light starts to fade very nicely away from the source on the grid. We have the world in darkness, and right now we're going to test the light. So I'm going to go over here and place a light block. Up, oh, okay. So we have the first part of our lighting done, and it looks like there is a bug where we need to smooth out the lighting values or the lighting is not being smoothed out the farther we get from the light source and then it just kind of cuts off and if i place a light source there we go now the light smooths out as we go farther away from the chunk again it looks kind of rough at the edges of the voxels because i think i need to smooth it out a little bit uh for the basic lighting principle is done and i can place more light sources again see that line right there um Let's see if I can find, I'm going to go underground. I'm going to go to a cave right here. And there we go. Paste a light in the cave. I'll go over here for a better result. Yep, there we go. This looks, gives a nice result in the cave. Looks really cool with the darkness and the fog around us right now. Just illuminates the cave. You can just see like darkness surrounding you and stuff, which is really accurate in the cave system and stuff especially with the light kind of fades over with the stone texture looks really good but yeah i was just kind of playing around with this i think this is really cool but still the lighting needs a little bit more tweaks all right it's time to check out the lighting propagation and how fast it propagates very well you can see at the edges it spreads throughout different chunks i actually had to make sure it checks the boundaries of the voxels um as you can see, I can place a whole bunch of voxels really quickly, and it used to cause some performance hits. Right now, it's only causing maybe just a minor or not even, depending on certain systems, of course. So you can pretty much spam as much light sources as you want in the game without really affecting your gameplay. And this looks really cool. So you can just place a whole bunch of torches around your base and stuff. As you can see, the lighting are all over the place and how it spreads. This is really cool. I've really happy with this result um, still need some improvements because we're going to probably get sunlight and color lights very soon next i want to hack in some color lights for my vox game which is a little bit more difficult than single color since minecraft stores their values in a separate memory layout in bits which are sunlight and torchlight i have to squeeze in extra space for rgb values ranging from 0 to 15. As you can see, my new memory layout only takes 16 bits per voxel, which I can store inside an array of characters. I'm sure there's a better way for optimizations, but for now, it runs smoothly. Alright, let's take a look at the color lights. There we go. We have a green color. Um, I turned off the ambient occlusion, as you can see on the edges, uh, to order to get this implemented. And I probably will change that back to figure out a way to add it in. I mean, it spreads pretty good so far. Um, it was kind of a pain to implement this in. So I'm glad it's slowly coming along. Uh, definitely needs some rework, of course. And there we go. So we have colored lights. I also added, um, as you can see, ambient occlusion. Uh, the values still need to be smoothed out against for every single block type, but that will eventually change once I smooth out the lighting propagation. 
There we go. We have lighting. It propagates in the cave very well. See the surface right there. And this looks really cool. I'm mean, just looking at this wall and just imagine having a red torch light with this. I think this is something that I can play around with with the lighting values. Lastly, we need to propagate sunlight. We can do this by starting at the topmost chunk and assigning values of 15 that are transparent or air. As of right now, I'm still struggling to get this to work, but I have some basic concepts down. All right, so here's a look at the sunlight propagation. Um, I've been playing around with updating lights. I've been having some trouble lately with doing this. Um, but as you can see, I can break in place the voxel and it freezes. It takes a while because it's like delayed. Uh, I probably have to speed it up with some threads. Um, I'm not too sure on when the lighting data should be updated when it comes to updating the mesh very quickly. Uh, probably have to maybe prioritize it or so and then it does like these weird glitches with the terrain where it says there's no sunlight even though there is and it causes like this dark void and stuff um, again this is very hard to configure when it comes to the sunlight propagation although the caves they do look pretty cool once they are fully implemented and once they are loaded as you can see I can still place light blocks again, which is really good, but some issues I still got to fix with the sunlight propagation. As you can see right there, it takes a while to, to propagate. Just want to let everyone know that I finally opened up a Discord server, link in the description. Next, I will go in depth on how to propagate sunlight. For right now, here's my recent upload. Have a good one, everyone.